Well, Matthew, it took a little bit longer than you would have liked, but you're finally at Freo. How does it feel? Yeah, obviously I'm elated to be at Freo and um, yeah, to have the other boys as well come along with, with me for the journey is yeah so special and yeah, it's a great club and I can't wait to get into things. It was clear to many people that you'd get picked up today, but was it still a nervous wait to see if Freo would select you? Yeah, I think today I was way more nervous than I was yesterday because I sort of relaxed a bit yesterday and then the nerves started to settle in a little bit today. So, um, yeah, just to have my name finally called out was, yeah, massive relief as well. And what's it like knowing that you'll be able to stay in Western Australia with your friends and family all around you? Yeah, I think that's a massive positive for, for me personally. And, um, yeah, having them, the support network around me and having that close by would, would definitely um, help me um, with my footy. You'll be playing alongside some fellow WA teammates, Neil Erasmus, your Subiaco teammate. Um, must be nice to get drafted alongside him as well. Yeah, me and Neil are really close mates and um, yeah, being able to watch him realise his dream last night and then for me to go to the same club today was yeah super special and um, yeah, I'm sure we'll be mates for a long time now. Yesterday after night one of the draft, Justin Longmuir came over to have a chat to you. What did he say to you? Um, yeah, Jay was really good. He just came over and sort of, um, said to me not to worry too much and um, that I was going to be all right the next day. He didn't really say that Freya was going to pick me, but yeah, he was just supportive and um, he said it would all work out in the end, which is good. Tell us what you know about the Fremantle Dockers. What excites you most about the club? Yeah, I think Freya has got a really young um, list that's um, making a lot of progress in the league and I think we'll definitely be, be, like, we'll be competing for flags and playing finals in the next few years. So. Yeah, it's super exciting to have a young group coming through and I think the club's going in the right direction. For the Freya fans who haven't caught your highlights yet on our website, what can they expect from you? Um, I think I'll describe myself as like a smooth moving midfielder and um, yeah, quite athletic for my size and good skills too. So I like to take the game on and bring my teammates into the game. The most well-known performance probably of your draft year was that grand final curtain raiser, the WAVSA game. How did you find that day and playing it up to stadium? <laughs> Yeah, I think that was one of my highlights for the year, being able to play at grand final day and, um, yeah, at Optus Stadium, which is obviously world class. So, um, yeah, it was a great experience and, yeah, I really enjoyed that day and um, being, being at that ground. Well, hopefully be playing a few more games um, next year and for years to come. And you would have seen on TV and possibly even live what it's like with that stadium packed with purple um purple army fans what do you can you describe what you think that moment will feel like when you hopefully run out for your debut game in front of purple army yeah i think i've been to a few Freo games in the past and yeah i see a, a really supportive fan base and super passionate about their team and um yeah to be able to be cheered on by those people is going to be an unreal feeling so yeah i can't wait can we touch on your family support over the past 24 hours? Your house was packed with friends, family. Uh, what have they meant to you, especially in the last 24 hours? Yeah, I think that's definitely um, helped me a lot over the, the, I think it was a bit of a stressful period for myself and um, having a lot of people close by, being supportive and um, yeah, obviously had a massive turnout tonight for celebration. So yeah, I'm super, super lucky to have everyone. Judging by the reaction, the Fremantle fans are super stoked to have you on board. Do you have a quick message for them? Uh, yeah, I think I'd just like to say to the Freo fans that I'm yes, beyond happy to be at the club and super excited for what's to come and can't wait to get stuck into things in pre-season.